Uh, let me see. There we go. Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Jay, otherwise known as JJ the Vaping Gamer, and right now I'm JJ the Vaping Scientist. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see here, I got my Soxlet extractor. I got my biomass inside the extractor, which is pine needles, because I'm going to extract some es essential oils, pine to be more specific. As you can tell, the heating mantle is heating, it's getting warm. What happens with this is the mass here boils, the uh, solvent boils, which I'm using isopropyl alcohol. It comes up and it goes up this tube and into this chamber, which goes up into this condenser which then reflexes and condenses that solvent back into a liquid, drips down onto this biomass, the pine needles, and that'll fill up to about that point in which it will create a siphon and drain back down here into this. And the process just repeats itself until all the oils and scents and all that is extracted and taken out taken out of the pine needles. And that's how a soft side extractor works. I got my water there. And let's go ahead and turn on the fan. And get some ventilation going in here. Because that is a solvent and we don't want any build up anywhere. And there's my fire suppression apparatus. So, yeah. Let's see how it goes. This is, uh, water comes in through here, fills up this tube, and goes down here. The reason why you don't want to have the water flowing down is it creates hot spots in this glass inside of the condenser, and it will make the glass prone to thermal shock and cracking, which is not good because it'll all drain back down to here and it'll be a big mess. So, yeah, anyway, I'll let you know in the progress of it when everything gets going. And that's everything there. You have a good day. Hey, everybody, what's going on? This is a quick update on what's happening. As you can see, it's Come to a good boil. Yeah, and it's sitting right there right now. And it's a light pretty green. And as it slowly drips back down into there. Like I said before, this will fill up, go up to about here, then drain back down into there. So I'll keep you updated and keep you posted. Hey everybody, what's going on? As you can see, we are just about ready to do our first run. It's just about there. And there you can tell it's a nice colored green. I want to be here for that. Just about to go. There it goes. As you can see, it's draining off there, coming down there, and that's up. You can see down here, it's a lovely green color. That was extracting around one. I just gotta let the boil again and fill up again.
Hey everybody, what's going on? As you can see, this is one of the final steps to it. There's like two other steps to go, but this is one of the final ones. I'm boiling off and recovering some of the solvent that I've been using with the Soxlot extractor. As you can tell, I kind of switched around setup a little bit, and I went to a simple distillation apparatus here. And what that's going to do is that's going to reduce the volume of that, leaving the essential oils and leaving the fragrance behind in here. And I'm going to recover my solvent in here via distillation. So it probably won't take too much longer to heat up. And it's, and it's been about six hours so far. And I've gotten a oh, pretty good extraction from it. This is what I was using. And that's just the simple pine needles. And from there, we shall see. Well, <clears throat> I am on, I think, the third of the final step of this process, as you can tell. Everything is coming along fine. It's going up into the condenser. Temperature is exactly where it needs to be. And that's coming over clear, which is exactly what we want. So all the stuff that we want are in there. And the solvent's coming over to there. So I'm in the solvent recovery process. And uh, next is going to be getting what's left in here evaporated off and the only thing that's going to be left is the essential oil. So this is kind of a lengthy process and it's been about seven hours so far. So, well, I'll let you know. Well, everybody, after all that, after all that work, I'm down to this. As you can tell, it's still quite viscous, and it's a little green. So I'm just going to sit here and let it cool off, let it evaporate and it'll condense down into an oil and you see it's greenish it's a really deep green right now so I'm going to call it a night uh, I'll get back to it tomorrow.